Are you burnt out or are you depressed? There is a distinction and that's what today's video is about. I'm gonna take you through the subtle differences between burnout and depression so you can determine and distinguish what's going on for you and begin to take action to move away from whatever's going on toward a truly empowered you. Welcome to the channel, I'm Kim Marie. If you've never been here before, be sure to subscribe and click the notification bell. This is where I share lots of tools and tips and inspiration to support women to become more empowered, feel more aligned with their true potential and their true self, and really go after the dreams that they're here to go after and get unstuck from everything that's holding them back. So today I wanna to talk about this distinction between burnout and depression, okay? First of all, burnout tends to be associated with our work life, or at the very least, the work that we're doing, okay? It might not be a career, it might be that you're working really, really hard to take care of a sick parent or a sick child, okay? Um, or maybe you're working really hard in your volunteer work. I mean, we can literally get burnt out doing things that we volunteer for. But the idea around burnout is that the stress becomes so high that, that we're always feeling stressed, right? Stress in itself is not bad. Stress can motivate us, stress can push us forward, stress can expand us. But when we're constantly stressed, our bodies aren't meant to handle that or to be under that kind of pressure all the time, right? And so that intense stress and overwhelm begins to cause us to feel anxious. It, it can cause us to start to feel more cynical and negative about things and maybe we start criticizing things. Maybe we start to feel like um, we can't manage things, we can't handle things, we're so overwhelmed. And we can even begin to feel a bit numb and even uninspired, okay? We can begin to also feel like we have, like it doesn't mean anything anymore. You know, the, the whole reason we were working so hard is that it meant something to us at one point. But then we start putting so much of ourselves into it that we kind of lose sight of what's real. And we start getting down on ourselves. We start thinking maybe we're a failure. We start thinking negatively and um, nothing really feels very good. I'm sure most everyone watching can relate to a certain level of burnout at some point in your life. Even if when you were in high school feeling burnt out studying for exams, okay? Because you're just studying, 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 and you just feel like, oh my God, if I have to look at one more fact or figure or whatever, you know, I'm just exhausted. What's this all for? Why do this? What's the point, right? We start going to that place. That's the space of burnout. Now, depression. First of all, I wanna share that if you feel you are severely depressed, please reach out for help. Please reach out to ask for support. And there are support lines, there are resources. I want you to make sure that you take advantage of those and recognize that depression, true depression can become serious if it's not addressed, okay? I wanna start by saying that. Now, depression is really defined as having low spirits, okay? But it's so much more than that. It begins to be this sense of despondency or dejection where we've literally just lost interest in life, okay? Some people think it's like, I'm just really sad. That's depression. Sadness is a normal emotion. Sadness is a response to loss when we've lost something, or even when we're thinking of the loss of something we never had, we might feel sad. But when we start to feel despondent, where we've just lost interest in life itself, that's when it starts to look like depression, okay? Now, depression can also have a sense of worthlessness to it. It can have that low mood. We struggle to concentrate. We're not able to, um, to, to focus. The word depression is literally to be pressed down. Now, we may feel pressed down, but I think one of the things in depression is that we actually, um, we may not even realize that we feel pressed down, right? We just feel so numb, so disinterested, so apathetic that we just don't wanna be here. We just don't wanna deal with any of it. We don't wanna get out of bed in the morning. We, this is full on depression. So, you know, this is also, this, where depression can become dangerous is when it begins to move toward thoughts of harm, 
harming yourself, harming others out of that sense of depression. Now, that distinction between burnout and depression, burnout can become depression if we don't address it, right? Burnout starts to cause us to get a little numb and we start to feel that and we are under that pressure. We're feeling pressed down by the overwhelm, the stress, the, the inability to manage our stress and, and deal with it, right? We feel that sense of burnout. But if it goes on for too long, we start to want to check out, right? We want to just throw in the towel and say, life's not worth it anymore. And that's the danger of depression. And that's why I say, if you begin to feel that you're truly feeling depressed, you have to reach out and get help. This is one of those things that is so important. It's so courageous and powerful for you to reach out and ask for the help that you need. Now, when you're feeling burnt out, before you get to that depression stage, we can recognize these symptoms of burnout the difficulty managing stress, the overwhelm. Maybe we haven't set enough boundaries. Maybe we didn't anticipate how much it was going to be. And the key is to recognize it and pause. I myself have, I love my work and I get very motivated and enthusiastic about my work. And then sometimes I work too much. I push myself too hard and I have to step back. And that's when I start noticing that, that cynicism and when I start noticing that everyone around me irritates me or everything around me feels like just too much to bear, that's when I know I've got to do something about it. That's the time to, to notice those triggers, go for a walk in nature, take a long Epsom salt bath, do something for yourself that nurtures yourself, take a break, shut down. Life will go on, your business will go on, your work will go on if you take a vacation, if you step away, if you stop doing so much. Life will go on if you say no, if you set boundaries, if you allow yourself to take care of you. Taking care of you is not selfish, it is self-full, and if you are not filled up, you will get burnt out, right? You could think of burnout as being similar to being out of gas, like a vehicle out of gas. If it runs out of gas, it's not going anywhere. It's completely stagnant, right? And all of us as human beings, we want to grow, we want to develop, we want to realize our potential. That's why we're here. So we need to mitigate burnout. We need to step aside and recognize the difference between burnout and depression before burnout becomes depression, right? And get the help that we need as we need it. Sometimes that means opening up to a mentor, having a coach to guide you, to give you tips. Sometimes when you're burnout, you're so caught in the weeds that you don't even know what it is you need. You don't even realize that the car has stopped because there's no fuel in it. You just wonder, why am I stuck? I can't move forward. What's going on, right? This is when we need to reach out and ask for help, get a different perspective. If you are someone who would like some support and help, please click the link in the description and reach out for a completely free consultation. I'd love to talk with you and understand your circumstances and see if there's a possibility that I can be of support to you. In the meantime, I hope this helps. I hope that, that recognizing the difference between burnout and depression is helpful. First of all, chances are, if you're watching this video and you're curious, you're probably more on the burnout side, right? Someone who's truly depressed is probably not even gonna watch a video because they're so checked out and they just don't wanna see or hear anything, all right? You might be on the verge of that, and if you are, please seek help. Please make sure that you don't let that go and don't ignore that. That's a big red flag for your soul, for your being, and you deserve more and you can move through it. You can absolutely move beyond the space that you're in toward a space that feels truly nurturing and empowering. I, I hope this helped. Leave a comment. Burnout, depression, have you been there? Have you experienced it? I'd love to hear in the comments. Be sure to subscribe and share this with anyone else you think this may help, okay? because we need each other. We need to look out for each other. So I hope you'll share this with others and that it's helpful to you. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video.